So in this video, I want to introduce you to this little badger here. This is the Polymeroni Inky Fat, and it's an e-paper display. So uh, it means that it's, well, effectively it draws no power. Uh, you can program it to display pretty much anything you want it to. And then you can detach it from the power source and it will continue displaying it. So kind of like uh, the old Pebble Watch or the um, Amazon Kindle or the Kobo works in exactly the same way. Uh, what I want to demonstrate here, uh, based on the video, the photograph I posted into Twitter earlier on today, uh, is exactly how you can program it to say what you want it to. So, I will put that there for the moment, so you can still see it. And it's powered up at the moment, you can see the little light there, uh, and it's booted up into, I think it's Raspbian, uh, but it doesn't really matter. And on my mobile phone, I'm going to boot up into um, Juice SSH. You see, the, where are you? There you are. So I am now connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, now this is going to be really awkward because you can't actually see what I'm doing. So let me just uh, come down a few lines and make the screen a bit bigger so you can actually see what I'm typing. So I have created, with the help of uh, the Pi Maroney website, a script. Oh, it's got blurry. There we go. Sorry, I'm recording this on a really crappy phone because my phone, which is this one, is the good phone. Whereas this one is, uh, yeah, not so good. So I have got in here a script, a Python script called name badge. And <clears throat> it takes three parameters. The first parameter is what you want to appear on the top row of the inky fat in black, and it will be slightly bigger font. So I will put here um, in quotes, hash og camp. That's not a hash, is it? Try that again. Hash og camp. And then on the second line of the display, in red, slightly smaller font, I'm going to put the phrase C U there with an exclamation mark. All right, and another quotation. Bosh. Now, there are different models of the Inky Fat available. Uh, you can have one that is just black and white, like a typical um, e paper display, but there are two other models available from uh, Pimeroni that have an additional colour. So you can have a uh, white, black and red, or a white, black and yellow. This is the white, black and red. So I specify that it is the red model as part of the script, so it knows how to write out to it. Okay, so I shall enter that and then I will bring the, um, the inky fat to uh, a bit close to the camera so you can see it working. Now, if this is working in black and white mode, because this does support black and white mode, even though it's a, a colour model, there you go, um, then it would do it in a matter of seconds. But because it's using colour, a colour layer as well, it has to do some kind of fancy, faffy stuff in order to, uh, to support that. But if I run the same command with black, you can see... That it will update significantly quicker once it starts. There we go. There you go, job done. But yeah, it looks nice, but it's not red, is it? I think red's much nicer. So, what I've also done in preparation for uh, OGCAMP itself is I've created a number of, oops. A number of uh, preset ones which will support us as we're in our camp as a family we've got one of these each just so that uh, we can wear these as name badges
There we go. And that is the name badge I'll be wearing on the Saturday at Og Camp in Manchester. If you're gonna, um, if you're going there on the 19th and 20th of October, which at the time of recording this is a week away, then I will see you there. But uh, otherwise, hope you enjoyed this and uh, speak to you soon.